So we have returned with the correct pressure switch for this Lennox unit. Um, I'll link in the description to the other video, but one of you guys had commented and asked if it was possible to thread the pressure switch out part way and then see if the Schrader closes off in order to find out if there's a Schrader. Because I don't know if there's a Schrader installed on this low pressure switch right here that I have to replace. First thing I'm looking at here is the new Schrader does have that little brass pillar in the middle. That is a Schrader cord depressor. So when you thread this onto the port, if there's a Schrader installed, it will depress the Schrader valve. So because this one is a direct replacement and it does have that Schrader cord depressor, I'm hopeful that there is in fact a switch in there. So I think we will try that. I'll loosen it, spin it off a couple turns. Um, I should have, I mean, if we just dry fit this for fun. Let's run this all the way in. I should be able to go one, two, three full revolutions and still be on there. And then it comes off in the fourth. So if I back it off two or three and it stops hissing, then I know that we have a Schrader installed in there. At least that's the theory, but I haven't really done this before. You can see we've got about 70 PSI of pressure in there, so that's kind of a lot. So we wouldn't want to thread it off far enough that the like thread breaks. That would be disastrous, but um, I think if we go two and a half threads out, it might be enough for us to see what, see if it's actually going to work. So I went out two revolutions and it stopped hissing. Sweet. I don't know how well you could see that on camera, but. There we go. So that is really nice, because without being able to do that, we would be here recovering refrigerant for like the next hour and a half and then we'd have to put it all back in so sweet that does work that was a good suggestion so let's go ahead and run this one back in I want to get ready to tighten it Now we just gotta hook these leads up to where I've got it jumpered at the moment. And then we should be good. I got my little piece back and the wires hooked in. Now we can fire the system back up. And in a minute here it should fire up again and be running happily. There they go. Both circuits. So we should be good. Well that's a, a handy thing. I, I guess I could have probably thought of doing that. Um, probably other more experienced techs already knew that you could just thread it out you know two and a half turns and if it had a Schrader it would stop leaking and if it didn't it wouldn't but uh, I had never actually done it so something else that I can now use for working on other equipment so that is helpful anyway I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you later and these white roofs are so hard to work on it's so bright I need to get down before I go blind <laughs>